<laughs> Never has a battle in her life, and today she needs a whole yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you all for coming today. We're here to celebrate the relationship of Cora, Corey, and, Co and Cora. And I already said I wasn't going to do that, so I got to get it out of the way. <laughs> of Corey and Sarah, to, and to be witnesses and supporters of their commitment to each other. On behalf of both of them, and Colin and Cora, we just want to welcome you here today. And just want to say how awesome it is that they are getting married and that we are here together. I know that um, the big moment has arrived for us, and so we're going to have Alex come up here. Alex, if you want to come around this way. Alex <laughs> is, gonna, is a very good friend of theirs, and she's going to recite a poem that she wrote for this occasion. Right here? Right there's perfect. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Everybody's definitely naked right now. All right. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this without crying. <clears throat> Ooh! All right. This is called Home. A perfect life is made by hand stitching millions of imperfect moments together. Each one of those moments woven by the fragile thread that we call life. 
These intricate patterns are created by winding paths, wrong turns, lots of hills, and sometimes even ditches. This thread connects us to hundreds of people, if not thousands. Some were here only for a moment, and others who stay to see how your final chapter plays out. Sometimes we take these moments for granted as we rush through life, unfazed by how fast time flies. But then one person comes along, and suddenly everything slows down. Every high, every low, every single breath is noticed. Every smile, every frown, even the way that they look at you, can cause you to lose all sense of self. They allow you to see the world in a different light. Your flaws become magnified. You learn more about yourself from this person than you ever could staring into a mirror. <clears throat> You're gonna make me cry. It's not me, it's Real <laughs> Realizing now what the word unconditional really means, these are the people that we call home. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. The big moment has arrived. Uh, this is the day that we've all been waiting for, some of us more eagerly than others. Um, I'd like to just say that marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. It's a way to tell one another that no, how much, no matter how much you are pretending not to hear or how much you spend out while shopping for Christmas or holiday decorations, that you're still in this together. <laughs> now marriage is telling the person that you love that you're not going anywhere, and that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. A good marriage must be built on the foundation of commitment. In marriage, it's the little things, and it's also the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. <laughs> it's uh, remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry, and it is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude to one each other in thoughtful ways. It is also having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which to grow. And usually when I do weddings, I ask the couple um, for, to pick out a verse or some verses of scripture that I, that I would like to share at their wedding. Um, it's never... It's something that I always do, and uh, although I haven't been able to drag you to to church with us yet, um, you know, yet I'd like to say, um, I did ask the same of both of you, and the verse that you would uh, would like to share. Now, most couples choose, you know, obviously First Corinthians and the love verse, but you sent me a verse that is not very commonly used during weddings, and it's very unique, and I think it's very powerful, and it spoke to the kind of relationship that you two have, and it's First Thess Thessalonians five eleven. It says, therefore. Encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. It's short but powerful. I love it. And it's my pleasure here today to confirm your commitment to each other. And we're going to start with the vows that you wrote together. So I'm going to move this over here so that you can hear. We're going to start with you, Corey. Okay. Corey, please repeat after me. I take you as you are. I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise to continue to be grateful for our love and life. I promise to continue to be grateful for our love and life. To be generous with time, energy, and affection. To be generous with time, energy, and affection. To be patient with you and myself. To be patient with you and myself. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To inspire you to grow as an individual. To inspire you to grow as an individual. And build our dreams together. And to build our dreams together. To love you completely. To love you completely. And these are all the things I promise you. And these are all the things I promise you. And now we're going to have Sarah recite these vows. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Repeat after me. I take you as you are. I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise to continue to be grateful for our love and life. I promise to continue to be grateful for our love and life. To be generous with my time, energy, and affection. To be generous with my time, energy, and affection. To be patient with you and myself. To be patient with you and myself. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To inspire you to grow as an individual. To inspire you to grow as an individual. And build our dreams together. And build our dreams together. <laughs> to love you completely. To love you completely. These are all the things I promise you. These are all the things I promise you. Awesome. Best man, if you'd like to give Corey the rings. 
All right, thank you, thank you. There you go, there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Put this back. <laughs> Corey, please take Sarah's hand. And uh, you can put the ring on her finger now. Mm. You put it in your pocket. <laughs> That's all right, we'll get it. <laughs> Sarah one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Sarah, please take the ring from Corey. <laughs> and take Corey's hand in your hand. There you go. All right, so now we're going to... Um, you two have professed your love for each other by exchanging your vows, and you've symboled your symbolized your commitment to each other by exchanging your rings. And all there is is one more question I need to ask of each of you. I'm going to put this over here, sort of. I'm going to say, Sarah, do you take Corey to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of a marriage, promising to love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Corey, do you take Sarah to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage, promising to love her, to comfort her, honor her and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Yes. All right. I cut out some stuff here because I was told I was supposed to make this short, so it was cold, but... <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Corey, you may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I love you. I love you guys. <laughs> All right. Now it is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Schoonover. <laughs> for coming we could not be more appreciative of everybody that showed up even though it is cold out but I keep being told it's better than being hot so <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> um, a huge special thank you to everybody sitting at that table that took a lot of extra time to get us to where we are today and then the happy family Craig and his children and his wife you guys did so much for us so we really appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. Um, Daddy, thank you for a beautiful day. <laughs> Anything you want to say? No. I appreciate you all. Thank you for coming out. It's been great. It's been a blessing. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for showing up tonight. Um, Ian's going to tell us the stories later, but I just wanted everybody to take a second and think about everybody that isn't here with us tonight, and let's have some fun. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I was taking it to you. Thank you. And let's welcome up Ian, the best man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's hear it. Hello everyone. Thank you for being here on this special day. My name is Ian. For those of you who don't know me yet, well, I suppose you're missing out. Someone hell of a guy. In fact, I'm Corey's best man. Because I'm one hell of a guy. In fact, I'm Corey's best man. And I've been one of his best friends since children. We've come a long way since climbing in and out of each other's windows, and here we are today on your wedding day. A few years back, Corey found someone he wanted to call on a regular basis, just to talk to for hours. Someone to drink coffee with in the mornings as the sun rises. Someone who he can laugh with to no end. That was the day he met me. <laughs> just over five years ago, Corey met Sarah. We all worked together at the time, and I can't recall a day Corey didn't find a reason to go into Sarah's office. We were hardly even in the same department. Corey always wanted more for his life. More hands, more time, more 10 millimeter sockets, <laughs> more structure. I feel like when he met you, Sarah, you've aided him in having more structure. This guy would have one arm, three toes, and wouldn't hear us talk if you didn't have him go to the hospital. <laughs> you've taken him on adventures and created memories that opened his world. I don't believe he's left the state before he's met you. Watching you two grow together over the past years has been amazing. I can't wait to see your family grow for many years to come. With that, I'd like to thank you for taking such good care of my best friend. I'd love to welcome you, Sarah, to our family. Pros to Sarah and Corey, I love you guys. Exit stage left. Let's hear it for Ian and his perfectly balanced roast and toast. Last but not least, I'd like to welcome up Sarah's sister, Monica. I'm gonna close out the night, and as we've learned so far in the family, today I am the crybaby. <laughs> So we're going to do it with as few tears as possible. So I'm going to call it like 132. Sarah's the baby, but she's also, oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> I told you, she's also the strongest, the most courageous, the most Ridiculous hard, hardcore. Hardcore. She's the one that will tell you like it is and tell you to shut up and tell you to live like there's no tomorrow no matter what. This is the girl I've looked up to my entire life who is the cutest kids in the whole world who made me an aunt for the first time, who taught me. Would you stop? No! <laughs> hey. Who taught me how exciting it was to build a family, and who finally got me a brother. Corey, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm so excited that you're part of our family. Court and Colin are so much fun. They make me happy all the time. And not nearly as happy as they make Sarah. So thank you so much for being a part of our lives. Thank you for making Sarah happy. Thank you for making her <laughs> excited about every next day. Thank you for the next baby you're gonna bring us. <laughs> Cause I can't wait till I have another nephew. <laughs> I didn't get to see Colin grow up, even though he's my bestie now, wherever he is. Back there somewhere. He is my bestie for life. There will be another boy soon, but not as much fun as Colin is. 
We need one more boy in this family. But Sarah, I'm so proud of you. I love you. Our whole family is proud of you. We're so, so excited for you. And congratulations today. Because you make an incredibly beautiful bride. And we love you. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's hear it for Monica. That was beautifully done. You say you'll be down in five. The smell of your perfume is floating down the stairs. You're fixing up your hair like you do. I know that I'll be a mess. The second that I see you, you won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes oh, I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless It started when you said hello did something to me And I've been in a daze Ever since the day that we met You took the breath out of my lungs Can't even fight it And all of the words out of my mouth Without even trying And I'm speechless Staring at you standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room Watching you is all that I can do oh, 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 I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room oh, I'm speechless Oh, you know it, What a beautiful, what a gorgeous song. Let's hear for Sarah and Corey. And now could we have Sarah's father up for the father-daughter dance? Sleep 
at night Scared things wouldn't turn out right You would hold my hand and sing to me Caterpillar in the tree How you wonder who you'll be Can't go far but you can always dream Wish you may and wish you might Don't you worry, hold on tight I promise you there will come a day Butterfly fly away Butterfly fly away Butterfly fly away Got your wings, now you can't stay Take those dreams Make them all come true Butterfly fly away Butterfly fly away We've been waiting for this day All along you know just what to do Here for Sarah and her father. Last but not least, can we have Corey and his mama? You who are on the road must have a code that you can live by. And so, become yourself Because the past is just a goodbye Teach your children well Their father's hell did slowly go by And feed them on your dreams the one they picked, the one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why, if they told you you would cry. So just look at them and sigh, and know they Your elders grew by, and so please help them with your needs. They seek the truth before they can die. Teach your parents well, their children's hell will slowly go by. Them on your dreams The one they picked The one you know by Don't you ever ask them why If they told you you would cry So just look at them and sigh And know they love you. What a great song. Let's hear it for Corey and his mom.